All right, everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you guys are having a great day. You're going to notice something odd about this video right off the top. That is the audio did not work with my lavalier microphone for the entire shoot. Um, don't know what was wrong with it yet, but this is the first time in the history of the channel that I am doing a live voiceover for the video. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you guys again. I am so happy to provide content for you guys and hope that you will hit like and subscribe. Today we are taking a look at two table lamps that I ordered from Amazon to replace the ones that go in the bedroom now because those are from my office. And these are the ones that we got to replace them. And I will leave a link in the description for these. Um, and also you'll see here the Govi smart bulb, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth smart bulbs that I bought to go inside of these lamps and I think they were the Bernard or or something brand but I'll put that up on the screen here it is getting unboxed and you can see on the front it says two pack LED table lamps here um, the design was kind of iffy for me but they had two things that I really thought would be cool and uh, we're gonna take a look at that once we get the box open here and like I said this is a live voiceover event for supercar street racing unboxing and reviews take a look at the box and the packaging it's pretty well done um, there's some stuff on the back here that i'm going to show you here in the in a second that one part is kind of confusing but um see where it says it's dimmable wireless charging it does have a wireless charging pad on top it does have a usb type b and a usb type c connector this last part is confusing. It says something about using a phone holder when you're watching TV or something, which it does not come with any type of phone holder. So don't understand what that was about. I looked all through the box and it didn't, not only did it not make sense from a product point of view, but um, it obviously does not come with a phone holder. Um, again, here's us taking a look and opening the Bernard or whatever they're called. Uh, I'll put a graphic up on the screen here. Baynard or something table lamps and we get the box open here we see it is a two pack of table lamps some instructions here some basic instructions on how these things work and then we'll go ahead and remove these guys from the box put the Govi light bulbs aside for a minute while we take the the uh, the lamps out of the out of the package and attempt to maybe put those guys together. Notice a very, very good packaging here. Everything was packed very well. The lamps are protected completely by lamp condoms, which you will see me remove here shortly. But first I'm fiddling with the lamp, trying to figure out how to actually get the packaging out because it was a little confusing. There's a little lamp ring there, standard lamp ring that holds lamp shades onto lamps. And I, at this point, I hadn't quite realized that that is what was holding the packaging inside of the lamp. So I fiddled with it for a moment and my tiny brain finally found out that that's how you do it. So here we have it. I finally figured out that this little lamp ring needs to come out. See me removing that now and then realizing, oh, the package comes out pretty cleanly after that. This is when I realized that there's a million wraps of plastic keeping this nice lampshade from getting damaged. And at this point, I quickly realized that maybe I should get some scissors out and make life a lot easier here. So here we got the scissors and if you just make a cut around the side of the lamps then the packaging will be much easier to remove than to unwrap 40 or 50 wraps and notice how dull my scissors are we need to get more scissors as well 
Those have cut wiring, they've cut everything on earth, and they are shot to death. Finally got the packaging off here of the beautiful Bernard or Bernard lamps. And you can see the base here. Now this box right here is the vintage looking LED dimmable bulb that came with the lamps, which we will not be using those because we ordered Govi smart bulbs. Taking a look at the lamp base here, you can see the charging pad. Right next to that, you see the, well, this is actually the USB type B and type C ports. And then you also see on the back, there is a 110 volt connector there for using whatever device you want. If you want to use your own charger, let's say you have an ultra fast charger because the wireless charging on this is going to be the slow type. It's not going to be the fast type USB charging, but um, yeah, on the back you have a regular 110 volt plug, no ground. So if you have a grounded device, you will have to rip the ground prong off of the product. And I know you've all done that, so don't act like you haven't. Finally got the, the uh, plastic off of the wire where it is kind of tied up with a wire tie and I don't know what those slots are. I haven't tried really anything with them. I don't know if they were designed to hold your phone or what. But here's that confusing phone holder graphic on the back of the Bernard or Bernard, Bernard or whatever type lamp these are. Again, link will be in the description and I'll throw a graphic up on the screen as well. So you guys can please click through my links to order your products. It helps me tremendously to support the channel. I make al almost nothing off the channel. In fact, it's, it comes at a loss for me um, with all the equipment I bought and the time that I put into the videos. It makes it hard without some sort of supplemental income. Here's me unboxing the Govi Wi-Fi smart bulb. You guys have seen this on my channel. I have another one of these bulbs outside on the patio. And here's me realizing that the lampshade goes on before the bulb because I'm a dork. Got the lampshade put on now and this is me putting on the Govi smart bulb. Link will be in the description. They're fantastic, wonderful smart bulbs and all Govi products are highly recommended. This is me unboxing the second lamp. Same process here as the first lamp, except it went much faster because my tiny brain finally realized how to quickly unbox. And then here's me scissoring, so to speak. No pun intended. But yes, that is coming off quickly there, the plastic, and makes my life way easier. You can see how dull these scissors are after having used them for a year or so to cut wires. Probably not the greatest, greatest idea in the world, but hey, we don't always do smart things. There's the uh, lamp condom coming right off of the Bernard Amazon products have the strangest names. Have you ever noticed that? All right, getting the plastic lamp base condom off here. And now this plastic is literally tied into a knot around the cord, pulling the cord off and out of the plastic and grabbing the other Govi Wi-Fi smart bulb. And here's me putting the lampshade on again, upside down, because it's a tiny brain. Um, go ahead and put the lampshade on and screw the black ring to tighten the lampshade. And this lamp is complete. Here's a look at the Govi smart bulb. And me unboxing it and trying to find the model number. 
when you use the Govi bulbs, uh, anything from Govi, and you use the app, you're going to have to know the model number to find the bulb. They don't give you a QR scan or anything like that. You just type the model number in and it searches for it. Here's the Govi smart bulb coming right out of the package. I thought this was the model number, but that's actually just a some kind of barcode number. And here's me looking for the actual model number. And I believe I finally found it at this point, H something. And me screwing in the Govi bulb. Little cleanup effort after as usual. All right, guys, so we have the tablet here running at the same time. We have our smart bulb here with the model number on the back. So we're going to open up the Govi Home app on the tablet. And we go up to the plus. We turn on Bluetooth as well. We go up to the plus, and all we have to do is search for the number X, X, I can't even read, 002, X002, X002, oh, that's not it. Oh, it's H, I had the wrong number. It's H6008. You search for it in the tablet. Yep, it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth bulb. And it sees it here on the app. So we just click it. It says connecting on Bluetooth. Let's call this um, bedroom lamp. One. It is looking for Wi-Fi. We want to change that to a 2.4 gigahertz network. Connect there. It does say it's connected. I don't see a firmware version. Let's go see if it needs an update. Firmware is not lit up. I think it's on the latest firmware. And let's see if we can change the color. It is not changing for some reason. Um, hmm, interesting. Doesn't say it's connected to Wi Fi either. Wi Fi settings. Still says the wrong Wi Fi. See if it's connecting now. It says Wi Fi connection successful, but yet, okay, there we go. It's working good, guys, um, using the app there. So let's go over here to this side and get this guy installed so that our millions of times we have sleepover guests, they can charge their phone, which is never. They're uglier, absolutely. But, I do love the ability to wirelessly charge the phone. My only complaint is, it's on the wrong side of the lamp. Why would they put it on the side that's, well, it actually depends on what, uh, what side of the bed you're on, honestly, so that's a dumb statement by me, but um, for this side, 
it's on the wrong side of the lamp to charge because you're over here and the wireless charger is over here. I mean, I guess you could kind of, you can angle this towards the person, but um, to make it uniform, let's put it right there. Let's grab our tablet so we can get this working. So we go back to the tablet and we go to the plus H6008. I hope that's the right number. That's it. It does see it. It says it's connecting. Let's go bedroom lamp two for the name. Done. Searching for Wi-Fi. This one's flickering. Oh, it's dimmed. That's why it's got to be. So since we're using smart bulbs, this has to be on full. So that one, if it's not on full, it needs to be on it. All right, connecting to Starbase SmartNet. I'm going to check the brightness control. Make sure your dimmer switch is on full and leave it on full or it's going to flicker the bulbs and it could burn them out because there's not getting enough voltage. It says Wi-Fi wi connection successful. This one's having a little bit of an issue connecting to Bluetooth. Oh, it says connected. Okay, so that's working fine on the app. Now the interesting part about these bulbs are that we can actually sync them to the backlight on the TV. It's going to be hard to capture this on video at the same time, so we'll probably take the phone off of the tripod. But as you can see here, let's make sure that this guy is also on full power. It might not be. All right, there's two settings. So the second tap is on full power. Um, so now we can take a look at the immersive lighting. So basically it's going to be almost impossible to do this. Let's go ahead and stop down. And there is the tablet and I don't remember how to do the group. So we're going to look at that now, but you can see the backlight is on. Let's throw this guy on something like a 8K immersive lighting video. Um, 8K. Da, da, da. I must not be signed in here. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay. 8K. Ultra HD. Uh, let's do this one. Notice the immersive lighting. Backlight is working properly. Okay, so TV LEDs. Let's take a look at that. Should be seeing the tablet now. Um, I think there's a way to... I saw a way to do a group for this. Okay, so it's called the sync center here. Device connection center can't be controlled individually. Okay, well that's fine. So we have to control, so here's the TV LEDs. So we have to add bedroom lamp one and two. And I guess click a segment to set the corresponding area. Wow, okay. For getting the best color, do not point the light source at the screen and the camera. Click a segment. Okay, so you're supposed to tell it where 
the lamp is. So it's here. It's how do you do this? Any message? Do not point the light source. All right, let me look at this for a second because I don't. Okay. So it's okay. So you click the okay. You click this. I don't know which one. One is on this side. Of, is on the one is this guy because because that's the one I put in first. So this guy, you click the color wheel. Choose the corresponding area to the segment. It's nineteen. Wait, what? Nineteen. Okay, and then two is sixteen. I guess it's not doing anything. Device is off. Well. <laughs> That's crazy. So that's absolutely insane. It's changing with the with the TV. Now I would knock this down a little bit to make it less bright. It's on same brightness. I just turned that off. Okay, that one started flickering bad. Let's knock the brightness down. So I knocked the brightness down on that one a lot to like 20%. I'm gonna knock this one down to like, I'm gonna knock them both down to like 15. So that's at 15%. Saturation is full now, and that is that one's flickering pretty bad. Something's going on with this one. Maybe it's not turned up all the way. This bulb might have a problem. This other one's not doing it. This guy's flickering like crazy. Well, that one's doing it too. Maybe that's part of the color routine. I think it's just, yeah, it's just changing. It's changing with the, with the TV. So that isn't an issue, I don't think. Because the bulbs don't flicker when they're not in this mode. So, area setting. This is interesting. Saturation, game, movie. Okay, I just changed it to game, from game to movie. Okay, that's a little bit different behavior. I like that better. It can also respond to sound. Devices sync center cannot be controlled individually. You control those disconnected from sync center. If the device is deleted in the details page, it can be not used normally. Please sync the information to corresponding dream view or turn off the sync center and try using the device again. So you can't use it both. So interesting behavior. I'm going to look at this a little bit more. All right, guys, we're back on the voiceover now because there's no audio from the tablet here. But as you can see here, we've got the Govi smart bulbs and the Govi TV um, back uh, backlighting synchronized. There's a look at the 110 volt on the back of the lamp. And this is actually me testing the charging on the pad. And yes, that's me putting the phone on the pad, trying to get the charging to work properly. And yeah, this is the pretty much the end of the video here. And I am just 
using the power button. So the power button needs to stay on all the time for the smart bulbs to work properly since you're using other methods here to power them uh, and control them. It can't be off. Uh, you'd have to use the app or the um, smart device to actually switch these off and on. Here's a look. The color's probably a little oversaturated here due to just the camera being irised up all the way. But here is a look at the immersive lighting technology going on. There's a look at the Gobi smart bulb laying on the bed. And uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I actually recorded here, but um, yeah, this is the Bernard lamp with the Govi smart bulb using dream view to watch anything you like on television and getting your backlighting synced up with your other Govi devices. It can sync to a number. It can even sync to my smart mirror uh, LEDs that I have, the, the, the dream strips. And I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. Please like and subscribe for me as it supports the channel. And this is me wrapping up and uh, just thanking you guys for you know watching the videos. It means so much to me to be able to bring content to you. Um, kind of do this voluntarily on my spare time. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and enjoyed this video about this fantastic product from Gobi.